Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippie. I want to welcome you back to a brand new Windcraft Let's Play for you guys today. So, to start off, before we actually get into the video, what the topic is about, um, you may notice things look different, and that is because I tweaked my settings a little bit more just to kind of look and see how things were going now that I was using my new recording settings and maybe I could get some better frame rate and maybe I could actually boost my settings a little bit and I was actually able to I was able to put smooth lighting up to a hundred percent I was able to put my trees on fancy and then on Windcraft I actually have to turn my clouds off but uh, on uh, every other server I can play with clouds on um, fast and still get 60 frames while recording so it's actually pretty awesome I've never well it's been a long time since I played with smooth lighting um, and the game just looks so nice with it so I'm, I'm really glad that I got to up that up to the smooth lighting 100% so I'm gonna keep that on I actually added some other stuff as well like um, clear water which I might turn off because I know that can actually boost my frame rate um, by about 20 30 frames on my PC so I might actually turn that off but keep all the other things on um, so yeah I guess it's time to get into our actual tar topic of the day so in the past uh, over the past six months in particular but um, every once in a while before that I would either get comments or messages and like I said, within the past six months, it's actually boosted to quite a bit to a couple of times a month I've gotten this. And it's actually really surprised me. I didn't expect it. And I'm still a little bit, like, confused as to why. But, um, yeah, I've been getting comments or messages or people that I talk to on Skype or, um, you know, that type of deal or stuff in Windcraft or in other servers. I've actually been able to start getting recognized in some other servers now like Hypixel and a um, couple on Hive just the other day so that was pretty cool it's actually really strange getting recognized on a different server because I'm so used to getting recognized only on Windcraft but it seems like I've been getting recognized mostly in the last few months on Hypixel for the most part um, so that's actually quite cool but uh, back to what I was saying I've been getting messages and comments quite frequently over the past few months asking where they can donate to me or if I have a patreon or any any place that they could donate to me PayPal or whatever and most of the time I just say no don't do that you should get something that you want instead and you shouldn't do anything like that I, I just tell people that I don't have one or that I'm not gonna set one up or that I haven't set one up um, and then recently I got a suggestion that I should start a Kickstarter to get myself a better PC and um, you know a better microphone and like maybe a better webcam and, and um, the whole setup to start pumping out better quality content and I was really hesitant I thought about it for a long time and I didn't like the idea of Kickstarter and I still don't really like the idea of Kickstarter I don't feel like you get enough for Kickstarter it's a one-time deal and then you're kinda done so whatever you donate um, you, you know you better hope that you get enough worth whatever you donated I know that some people donate hundreds of dollars on Kickstarter and, and don't even get that much for it. like they get a t-shirt sent to them or something like that and I don't really like that deal I don't like how that works and I don't like taking money um, or even having money if I haven't done anything to get it I would rather prefer that I've earned my money or that I've provided something for my money um, and so I was talking to another person that I talked to on YouTube that does have a patreon account and I was talking back and forth with her and she told me you know basically how it works and um, that you know you're you're setting up these goals or not goals but these um, uh, different prices that people can donate and get different features and stuff like that and you can set this all up yourself and you can choose and decide what people get and how that type of deal works 
and the more I was hearing about it, the more I actually kind of liked it. So I wanted to know what you guys were thinking if I were to set up a Patreon. Now, this wouldn't change anything on my channel. It wouldn't change the content that I upload. It wouldn't change how many times I upload, what the quality I upload right now, it wouldn't change. Um, and nothing else would change. I wouldn't talk about it at the beginning of every video and try and get more and more people to donate or anything like that. And I probably wouldn't set up anything in particular that would limit people. Um, my idea was setting up a $1 option and a $5 option and basically like anyone who donated a dollar um, I would basically have this new end card at the end of my videos and you would roll through my credits as you know supporters or producers of my channel um, for doing this type of deal and for five dollars uh, would be an even better perk that I'm not quite decided yet um, whether I would rather upload my videos early for Patreon members a day early so you would get all my videos a day early um, on Patreon instead of on YouTube or if I were to add an extra type of, of video exclusive for the Patreon members um, like I said so this still makes it so all my regular videos would come out on YouTube it's just um, you know on Patreon they would either come out early or there would be an extra type of video like three times a week or something like that and I still haven't decided for that and um, I was even thinking about doing a ten dollar thing and doing something like really cool for them but you know I really want to know what you guys are thinking uh, and I've made a decision to before I set up this Patreon and before I make it available for you guys to donate for the people that want to like I said um, I wouldn't ask anyone to donate if they didn't want to I wouldn't um, pressure you guys to do it and I wouldn't like leave a comment or, or I wouldn't say anything in the beginning of the videos or at the end of the videos or anything would change that would bug you guys or irritate you guys or try to pressure you guys into donating um, I would just simply like throw the link in the description uh, of every video and that's about it so I wouldn't talk about it and I wouldn't do anything uh, different it would just be there available because um, you know I've, n I've heard people tell me uh, that they wanted me to set up something like this or where they could donate to me and, and I didn't want to do it at the time because up until the past two months or something um, well about a little bit earlier than that I suppose um, about the year and six month mark of doing YouTube which was in I think September that was when I first started my channel before my videos had come out um, around that time um, everything before that I wasn't sure if YouTube was gonna be a permanent thing I didn't actually mean for it to be a permanent thing I just wanted to do it for a little while and have some fun and learn how to edit and do that type of deal and try to give some uh, entertainment back I suppose to YouTube community for all the entertainment that I had gotten and then I just started making these uh, tutorials for Windcraft and I didn't plan for that to be a permanent thing either but um, I think right now is the first time that I felt that I want YouTube to be a permanent thing like I would love for YouTube to grow into this huge thing and and have enough subscribers and enough views for it to be a job and get to make videos and live stream for you guys all day and um, just just provide content for you guys I would really really love that at this point um, and this is the first time I felt that way and I think now that I feel that way I would feel comfortable allowing people that wanted to donate to donate um, you know before that I really didn't know like if it was a permanent thing or not so I didn't want to take people's money or allow people to donate anything and then immediately you know stop doing YouTube or even stop doing YouTube six months later I didn't want to um, have people feeling like I, I just up and left and took off with their money and that type of deal so 
um, now that I feel like YouTube could be a permanent thing and that I want YouTube to be a permanent thing, uh, I've made that decision that I'm going to open that up and I'm going to allow people to donate if they want to donate. Um, and I should say real quick what this money is going to go to. This money isn't going to go to me being able to buy, I don't know, like nice things or whatever, random junk or just um, just random stupid things or whatever. This money would go to strictly YouTube. So right now, almost all of the money that I'm getting from YouTube through my views and through ad... Uh, um, AdSense I couldn't think of the word for some reason uh, all of that money almost all that money is going back into YouTube however it's not a lot of money I can I, I, I always thought for the longest time that you weren't allowed to mention anything about money on YouTube but I found out that's just a myth and that you are actually allowed to talk about um, AdSense views it's just uh, networks and stuff like that that don't like you talking about their AdSense but or their um, ad representation so with AdSense I'll be lucky if I make a hundred US dollars every three months every three to four months I can make that uh, in the total that I've been doing YouTube for a year and a half now I've made um, uh, 250 somewhere around there 260 somewhere around that range uh, and I've used that to get things like uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a headset and actually two headsets at this point, a webcam and some other things that I ended up putting back into YouTube, um, like lights and stuff that I had to get because I found out that my room was like super dark after I got that webcam uh, and a desk and everything just to get everything set up to where I could record comfortably and stuff like that. Uh, and I've put all that money back into YouTube, unfortunately, it's not enough to do the things that I would like to do. You know, I would ultimately like to set up a beastly PC with a graphics card and an i7 and like 16 gigs of RAM or something crazy to render out videos in like a quarter of the time the video takes. Uh, I've been talking to like Jess and Loshku about render times and stuff like that. I was just telling Loshku today I was rendering a 20 minute video and it was going to take me three hours almost. So when I render videos like that it takes away so much time that I could be doing other stuff that I could be uh, rendering or recording or uploading other videos. So if I was able to set up another PC or a better PC that I could do things quicker I could get you guys more videos I could get you guys videos in 1080p I could get you guys videos in solid 60 frames playing any game um, you know I could beef up the settings in Minecraft I could play adventure maps because right now I can't play adventure maps because the lag is terrible on most of them um, I could set up just really awesome stuff I could install shaders we could play with shaders in Minecraft we could make everything look so cool um, the other thing is like there's like let's plays that I would love to do of certain games but either I can't play them on my PC or I just don't have the cash to do it to be honest with you guys YouTube is my only income right now I don't have a job because right now it's taking me 12 hours a day on YouTube if I were to get a job I wouldn't be able to do that type of stuff so uh, I'm kind of at a dilemma now that I have no money for games and I have no money for a better PC. But if I were to go and get a job for the money, I wouldn't have the time to play the games. I wouldn't have time to make the YouTube videos. So that's kind of the deal right now. We're stuck with what we got. So any money that I were to get from uh, Patreon would go straight back into YouTube. Whether it be games for new Let's Plays every month, um, I could get a capture card and I could straight up play like console games after or I could uh, use some of that patreon money every month to getting better internet connection I could upload my videos and that means I could give you guys a solid three to four a day um, and also I could start live streaming like I wouldn't mind going and playing a game for you guys or just hanging out in Minecraft or playing some mini games for three hours with you guys on a live stream that'd be pretty awesome in fact but right now I've tried it out I've tested it and my I think my upload speed is 0.5 megs right now and I think the minimum that you need for 
Twitch is about five megs, so I'm using about 10% that I would need to uh, live stream. So right now, that's completely out of the question. But um, you know, someday if I was making enough either through YouTube or through Patreon, I would be able to get better internet connection and I would be able to live stream and all that type of deal. So, um, like I said, get new games for Let's Plays, get a really beastly PC so I could get amazing console game or amazing uh, uh, edits and renders and amazing quality out of the games that I can play and all this amazing stuff that I could do but I can't do right now. Uh, you know, I'm just looking like right now, this is my first time playing with smooth lighting on Windcraft, and it was just amazing getting to see this stuff, and this is just on the settings that I could handle. Could you imagine if I had a beastly PC, I could throw on some, uh, really awesome, like, uh, I forget what it's called already. Oh, man. Uh, I can't think of it. Shaders. Put on some really awesome shaders, boost up my render distance to, like, 32 and then throw on fog and throw on all the particles and all that stuff I could really make this game look amazing and I could really make the videos look amazing for you guys one of the things in particular is gavel or gavel is going to be coming out soon in Windcraft and I'm afraid right now that when it comes out it's going to be super laggy because there's going to be so many people playing that's going to mess with my frame rate and it's gonna screw up some of my videos and that's what I'm terrified of uh, the other thing is that there's gonna be 55 or 50 something new quest guides there's gonna be a whole new set of levelings there's gonna be a whole new set of Easter eggs there's gonna be a whole new set of uh, tutorials that need to be made on a whole new set of just exploring the area now if I had it my way, I would knock out five to six quest guides a day for you guys. I would knock out five to six Easter eggs a day for you guys if I could do that. But um, realistically, that's just not possible with this PC. Uh, now, later on someday down the road, if I were to have a beastly PC, I would do that for you guys. When new updates or something came out in the game, or if there was something you guys were looking for, I could just go and knock out a quest guide or a tutorial or even just a video or videos of a let's play or something that you guys were looking for. I could knock that stuff out and get it up to you three to four videos a day and it, I would have no problem doing that. It's just right now it's not possible. So I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and set up on this Patreon. However, in the past, there's been some times where I haven't gotten the chance to record or I've been a little lazy on recording or I've been uninspired because of the content that I upload and that the quality isn't as great as I would love it to be. Sometimes it's a little bit um, defeating, I suppose. So I'm going to wait two weeks from today. Today is Wednesday. I'm going to wait two weeks. I'm going to upload two videos every day, six days a week and two and one on Sunday then you guys can choose if you want to donate then but that's gonna do it I have been hippie and I'll see you guys next time